in this video we will be discussing about uh, audit and event logs uh, of the Cisco ACI so audit log is uh, uh, the logs uh, uh, for the configuration changes with the details of the users like who has done the what changes so there are various way to verify the changes done by the specific user uh, which we call as audit log okay one is you can uh, go to the GUI in the system uh, there is option for audit log so here it will show all the changes done by the specific users okay so here you can see the action whether it's a creation modification or deletion so there are three action you will see if someone has done some uh, created new config it will show as a creation if someone has deleted it will show as a deletion or if someone has modified it will shown as a modification and uh, I do not have any taka so by default it is showing the admin and here you can see the time uh, the changes done by the user on what sp uh, specific time okay and the description and affected object okay so here is all the snapshot created if I scroll down so I can see here is uh, uh, there was a configuration changes done um, on the node 103 port number 1 slash 10 okay um, so someone has created a new configuration from the admin user okay so here if I can see this external subnet 000 was added in this specific L3 out out GNCP and uh, as I have everyone there is no taka so user is showing as admin but you have it if it's in a taka uh, it will be shown by who has done the changes okay so here it will show for uh, the entire fabric but if you want to uh, look at for the specific uh, object or configuration you can go to your respective tenant okay or the, you can go to uh, so for example if I want to check uh, the changes done on the leaf 101 so what you can do you can go to the leaf 101 it's taking time to show the configuration just one second okay So in the meantime let me show you how you can look at the changes on CLI so you have to go to the APIC and just to show audit okay after the show audit there are various options is available okay say action detail and time last day lot of last hours see if I want to uh, look at like in the last hours La, for example in last two days what are the changes has been done and who has done the changes so I will get the, all the data like in last two days who has done the changes and what are the changes has been done ok now if I want to look at for the specific object then what I can do I can go to the tenant then I can specify the tenant um, then um, let me specify the VRF, VRF1. If there is any changes has been done on the VRF1 on this data center, it will be shown here. So there are various options available. You can choose this based on. Um, uh, your requirement or what exactly you want to look at it so let's go back to the GUI okay so the data is loaded now so what you need to do for any of the component uh, you need to go to the history click on history and there is option for audit log so I'll get the data of uh, all the audit log of the leaf 101 then you can filter based on the time so on every component uh, there will be history and you go to the history and audit log 
see if I want to look at um, the tenant I'll go to the tenant this one if I want to look at what are the ch changes has been done on this tenant then I'll go to the tenant DC1 I'll go to the history it's taking time to load the data but yeah uh, yeah here it is you go to the history and uh, click on the audit log so here you will get all the data whatever the changes has been done on the tenant DC1 if you want to look at the further specific application profile BD, L3 out, contract, service guard you can go to the specific component and go to history and audit log you will get to know what are the changes has been done in next video we will discuss about the events thank you for watching this video